There's a popular myth in business that you get paid for producing things. That's not how it actually works. You don't get paid for what you made, you get paid for what you manage. I'm Dr. G and this is the Agribusiness YouTube channel. On this channel, we learn how to apply business to agriculture. Today, we're gonna to learn about risk. Let's get down to business. Risk is a good thing because risk leads to reward. When a farmer plants a seed in the ground, there's no guarantee that seed is gonna turn into a crop that they can harvest, and there's no guarantee that there's gonna be a viable market for that crop at harvest. But if farmers didn't take that risk, everybody would starve. Don't think of risk as a bad thing. Risk is just part of doing business. Your goal is to manage that risk. To do that, you need to understand five types of agricultural risk. Let's start with production risk. This is one that most farmers understand and it's tied to one of the buzzwords we use when we talk about risk and that buzzword is variability. All this means is that your production is gonna be inconsistent. It's gonna vary from year to year. Some years it's higher, some years it's lower. You can have two steers from the exact same bloodline and one will gain weight faster than the other. That's variability and that's what we mean when we talk about production risk. If both animals were guaranteed to gain weight at the same speed, there'd be no variability and there'd be no risk. The majority of the effort that most farmers put into production is aimed at minimizing their production risk. And production risk is tied to a lot of different things. If you've been farming for more than 10 minutes, you know what these are. Droughts, floods, weeds, pests. But it's more than just that. Have you ever seen a corn planter just randomly stop dropping seeds? An inefficient machine is a huge risk. This also includes things like theft and vandalism. When I was growing up, we had some farmland on a river bottom, and every now and then someone would drive over the corn on the way to their favorite fishing hole. That's just part of doing business. If you can't handle the risk, you're not gonna get the reward. In my opinion, the least well understood is marketing risk. Most farmers are gonna be selling commodities into a global marketplace and changes that happen on the other side of the world can cause the price of their product to skyrocket or plummet. That's variability, and variability means risk. Even a farmer in a small town farmer's market like this one has to face marketing risk. Marketing risk is anything that creates variability in the price you get for your product or the price you pay for your inputs. Marketing risk also includes access to markets. I'm filming this in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. And when the farmers at this market planted their crop back in the spring, they had no idea if this market would even be open for business. They had to accept that risk. As an ag business professor, most of my focus is on the next type of risk, financial risk. These are threats related to things like cash flow and debt. Cash flow is a major component of your financial risk. Your cash is tied up in a crop or an animal that won't be ready to sell for months down the road. In the meantime, do you have enough cash on hand to make payments? Do you have enough cash on hand to handle your operating expenses? Do you have enough cash on hand to take care of household expenses? A lot of very profitable farms still struggle with cash flow issues. Do you have the capital on hand to operate your farm or do you need to go to a bank and borrow some money? When you show up at the bank, will they even let you borrow the money? And if they do, what interest rate are they gonna charge you? These are all major components to your financial risk. We've also got to worry about short-term financial shocks just part of the risk you have to take. Let's talk about legal risk, things like contract law and tort liability. We see a lot of farmers in legal trouble because of things like pesticide drift. Sometimes farmers run afoul of the EPA. If you're selling at a farmer's market, you might have to worry about food safety. We've got to worry about public policy. A lot of my students get jobs selling crop insurance when they leave college. If Congress decides to cut the crop insurance provisions out of the farm bill, they're gonna be without a job. That's just a risk they have to take. A lot of farmers will set up an LLC or a corporation in order to separate their farm finances from their household finances, and this is done as a way of mitigating risk. And we can't forget about the human risk. Always remember that most of the people working on your farm are family members or loved ones. You have to worry about their health and their safety. If you want to learn more about risks, I'm going to give you a link to a PDF document down in the description that'll go over all these things in greater detail. I'm also going to make a playlist. Every time I make a video about risk, I'm going to upload it to that playlist. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can catch the next update.